It's Real Fit Radio with B. And J.L.O.U. If this is your first time listening, welcome. And if you're a returning listener, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All things are difficult before they are easy. Just a Chinese proverb. That's self-explanatory. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You have to work. I think you appreciate it more, too, when you have to work for it. I don't know what these people nowadays. I'm cool if somebody gives me something. I'll appreciate it because I understand hard work. But I know that there was a, a time in my life, you know, when you're a kid, you're like you don't even appreciate that I gave you this. So you, you leaving your clothes all over the floor. You know, stuff that you hear your parents say. So I'm sure I didn't appreciate a lot of things. And I probably would have appreciated them more if I had to work for it. That one right there is a no brainer. Oh, yeah. Without further ado, let's jump into the meat and potatoes of this podcast. So <laughs> I looked at my email and I saw this response that I got from something I commented on YouTube. And y'all know about comments. You better be ready for whatever somebody says when they comment from something that you say. So anyways, it was from a video that I saw. This guy was explaining how to use your credit and all these tactics to get a Hellcat with a car note that's manageable. So Hellcats are roughly $80,000. It's a sports car. I always go down a rabbit hole when I start looking at comments about what people were saying and I just couldn't help myself. So I said something along the lines of like, dang, if people went through this much purchasing some property and turning it into some passive income, man, how good it would be for people. A couple of weeks later, I seen that somebody commented on what I said, and they was like, what you saying that I hope you paying for a mortgage. You know, I chuckled at it. It's interesting how you're trying to just say something in terms of giving some knowledge. And I just feel like these days when you say something, no matter what you say, it comes off as, oh, are you hating and this, that, and other. And that might have been what it was. It was kind of like a nickel slick remark to me. I don't think it was coming from a good space when he said it. I even looked even further and it was some people talking about, well, $80,000 is really not a lot for a car. And it's not like it's a Lambo or anything. So the premise I'm getting at is keeping up with the Joneses, purchasing something that you're really not able to afford at the moment. So you're going through all these loopholes to purchase an $80,000 car. And based on a video, I saw, I don't even think this dude has a house. I think he stays in an apartment. So that was already like a red flag to me. So let me get this straight. You guys are vouching for somebody who's showing you a way to use your 700 credit score because he said one of the steps is to have a high credit score use your high credit score to manipulate some system to where you can get this car note to an affordable rate to where you can pay your monthly note and i just feel like what was the purpose of doing that and then also with them saying rich people or wealthy people or celebrities or whoever that's paying for these cars I feel like they don't even pay for those vehicles. I feel like sometimes, depending on who it is that's coming in to purchase it, if that dealership, like let's say it's Lamborghini, feel like they can get more purchases or more people to come in to buy a Lambo because that particular individual came and got it, they may just let them have it for free, especially with the music world. That's a marketing entity. Let's just use Drake, for instance. Drake got a, a Lambo and he has it in his video and it's his. That one person then generated multiple people going in to try to purchase a Lamborghini and they saying that he bought it, but they don't know if Lamborghini, the dealership, gifted that to him just because they knew that more people were going to come in. So it was just intriguing to me the fact that somebody would go to that depth to try to figure out a way to purchase something that they really can't afford to get and i'm not necessarily in the man's pockets but if i'm looking at an observation and i'm seeing that you're in an apartment and you're telling somebody how to get an eighty thousand dollar car and you're still paying rent there's something wrong there and there's a reason why you're trying to get that not just because you want to have it might have been all over the place with that but what are your thoughts on first of all what that youtube video was about and then secondly what are your thoughts on people trying to keep up with the joneses or social media well he was sharing some knowledge the bat signal is not for everybody 
just like Real Fit Radio, this podcast is not for everybody. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that you were saying, I was in my head saying to you, to you, like the joke, you know, right. he can't afford it to you. The Using your credit score, that's not a smart move to you. How you live in an apartment and you're going to have a car and you're still paying rent. That's not, you know, smart to you. These are all preferences. Everybody has a different definition of success. And we talked about this. I used to think it was keeping up with the Joneses. And I don't even think it's that anymore. Um, I think it's more so just depending on the individual, the quality of life they want to have, where they want to put or invest their time and efforts. You know, to you or to me, we want income property. We don't do car notes to somebody else. It's like, no, I work hard. You know, the apartment I'm in is affordable. I like where I'm at and I want the Hellcat and I worked hard to raise my credit score to get it. And I want to share that information with others. It can at some point turn to, are you hating or are you educating? But you have to know who you are dealing with. It would be wrong of me. And I would get into it with people. I would have a thousand or more internet you know beefs or battles because i'm trying to put somebody on the level based on what i think is a good place to be in or or will be you know successful like if you have some income property your money's working for you and you're not working for your money why do you even want to pay a car note the value of a car depreciates as soon as you drive it off the lot you don't want to do that you could rent that car when you want to take it back. You could lease it. You don't want that. Can you afford the maintenance on that car? That's a lot for somebody when that person's goal and it doesn't make it wrong. It's just like, I just want a nice car. I don't care how I get it in a sense, meaning just this level. I will go to work, pay the car note, and I just know I want to have a good credit score to go on and qualify for it. You have, you know, two different people here with just two different ways that they're going to attack life. I think we were talking about that the other day there, there were several ways to get to the airport, you know, your starting point, you know, I'm going to start from here. I'm going to have this person drive out and get me. I'm going to take an Uber. I'm going to take Lyft. It's cheaper. I'm going to take a shuttle. And now a quick moment from our sponsor journey of a legend. You. Yeah. You. What's your passion? Purpose. Every day you try, you succeed. The time is now. Journey of a legend. It starts with you. If you want to learn more or purchase merchandise, go to www.journeyofalegend.com. Everybody's still ultimately getting to the destination. It's just how you want to get there. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So I wouldn't necessarily at this age and stage of my life, I don't think it's keeping up with the Joneses. I just think they are groups of people. And that's their definition of success or that's the quality of life they desire to have. And no, hey more power to you. You only going to get some, some smoke with me, or you going to get that, you know, that blowback. I'm going to go back and forth with you. If you start telling me about what I shouldn't be doing with my money and, and I'm cool with it. If, if you ask me, then I'm going to tell you, but what happens on social media and I see it a lot is it's unsolicited comments, unsolicited advice, but the comment section is left on. I've seen videos and different pictures or comments, you know, different statements where comments are off. That means the person is saying, I'm going to leave this right here. I don't need to hear what you have to say about it. I left it here and who was for is for and who who was not walk away. I don't want to hear what you got to say. It'll say comments are off. But for people that leave the comments open, you got people in the comment section going back and forth with each other not even the person that posted it. And then you got the person that posted it that might be commenting. So it's just a bunch of stuff going on. It's just a matter of this is what I believe. This is how I feel. 
And no, I don't feel that way. I think you should be doing this. I think it would be smarter to do that. And at the end of the day, it's, if that makes you happy, it's not hurting anybody. You know, you're not endangering yourself or others and you're not endangering me. Cool. But if, if you want to learn how to make your money work for you, where you're not working for your money, I have some information for you to have quality over quantity. I got some information for you, but if not, you know, I'm going to read this and I'm going to keep it pushing. Cause this is not, <laughs> this is not where I function. This is not a conversation. It would be unsolicited advice. And I don't think it would be well received because what you are saying already is not resonating. If he had said he or she, whoever posted the video has said, I want a Hellcat. And the only way I can figure out to get it right now is by using my 700 credit score, getting a decent car note. It's still going to kind of hit me, but my rent is not too high. The insurance will hit me over the head. I've reached the goal. I'm going to get it because that's the only way. And I'm, I'm going to actually have what I really want. Anybody else know of another way that I can do this? You know, it's not going to hit me so heavy in the pockets. Boom. You could say something, but they were positioning themselves to educate somebody on how to get it and have a car note. That was the information. So your educating can be looked at as hating. Your educating can be not well received. Your educating can get a lot of blowback unnecessarily because this is not the arena. This is not where I should lend my two cents or, you know, just my thoughts or things I've learned, my tools and resources as it could turn into something else. And that's not what I'm here for. More power to him with the Hellcat. I'm past that stage in my life. We could save them all. Like, man, if you do it this way, you're going to be so much better for it. And you be so exhausted and mad and have this exchange of negative energy. You fighting somebody on something they want to do. Like I said in the beginning to you, <laughs> you know, that that's your program. That's your journey. You working, you know what you want to be doing by 50 at 50. If they rolling a Hellcat, getting ready to retire in the next couple of years. They got a 401k plan, good benefits, and they love the apartment they've been living in for years. They love their neighbors and they paying their rent. That is the definition of success for them. Who am I to say that it's not? That's what they're fighting for when you go back and forth with somebody. It's almost equivalent to when somebody says, you know, you shouldn't be wearing that or what they say on Fridays. Don't worry about it, bitch. Somebody like it. You know, I just pick and choose my battles. And that one is not a battle. It's preference there. It's just, you know, that's that's just how they roll. That's not how we roll. Yeah. So the moral of the story there is pick and choose where you choose to lay your seeds at, basically. Because certain soil is not considered fertile ground for what you're trying to deliver, which is understandable. I usually don't engage in comments and stuff like that. But as of late, you know, I've been a little bit more engaging. That was the first time I probably in a while received a reply in turn. And, it, and I can say it wasn't like it dude cursed me out or nothing, but I definitely know it was almost like on some just make sure you got your shit together type comment. But yeah, no, that makes absolute sense. Uh, I do agree with that. I can't rebut anything in regards to that because that is truly a preference. Who am I to tell somebody the right way to do something or if it is a right way, there's more than one way to get what you're asking for. It just depends on what you're willing to give up. I guess I was just kind of looking at the whole process of, okay, I do that, but <laughs> I still have to get up and go to work to pay this note. And no matter how low I got it based off all the steps that were given, yeah, I was successful in that, but still got to pay it. If it breaks down, I still got to pay it. And I got to pay for the maintenance and all that. So that's what I was kind of looking at. but. At the same time, delivering that message to somebody who's like, I don't care by any means necessary. This is what I want. Yeah, that would fall on deaf ears. <laughs> His comments were on. We're learning to turn our comments off. He didn't want your option. And that's cool. We grow because we live and learn every day. And I was like, OK, just because the comments are on, I'm turning mine off. <laughs> that's where I'm at with it. I'm turning mine off. Oh, I read that. Oh, wow. Mm. Keep it scrolling. The comments are on, but my comments are off. I'm not, I'm going to keep it going. Yeah. It's a rarity, but if you are a person out there that sometimes comment on things, just be ready for whatever the people say and don't take it personal. Cause I definitely didn't take that comment personal. It was just something that I thought we could talk about in terms of 
keeping up with the Joneses is a different way of looking at it now. So it's not even about keeping up with the Joneses. It's about what my perception is of what I want to obtain and how I want to do it. The comment you said that was in response to yours, well, I hope you have a mortgage. What are you, what, what are you talking about? It was information that I passed on. The guy that's giving you this information, he didn't take a picture of his Hellcat. Did you ask him, well, I hope you have a Hellcat. Anytime you put yourself out there and you want to give information, you're wanting to educate in whatever way, be ready for you hating. Oh, yeah. So are you hating or are you educating? And, and is it going to be well received? So once you start taking that stuff into consideration, I'll just be going back into what I already said. You you start, you turn them comments off. You, t- you save it for somebody that's receptive or that, you know, like I'm going to drop this right here. Cause you don't really know. You can gauge it like, Oh, this person really don't know. This is, these are the only tools and resources they have. And, and it'll sit right with you. You'll see it like, Oh, Hey, 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 you going to do it like that. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. You know, like, a, like almost you see with the kids sometimes it's a better way to do that. If you do this, 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 Oh, I didn't even know I'm going to do it that way then, you know? And some people you give them options and they still do some bullshit. Then you mad. You wasted the most valuable thing we have in this life. Time. And I'd rather give you the money and not waste my time. Cause I can make more money. I can't get my time back. Yeah. This is equivalent to make your music and know who your target audience is. <laughs> Well, with this, I'm going to sit that right there. If you'd like one, you can take one by the door. If not, just leave it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggested topics, or you want to keep this conversation going, you can shoot us an email at realfitradio at gmail.com. Our podcast drops every Monday. You can catch a snippet of our latest one on our Instagram at realfitradio. If you're not following us, you definitely should be. As always, we hope this inspired, impacted, or empowered someone. Until next time.